thanks, Jay, for a, a fascinating uh, insight into um, into the American politics and uh, uh, the, the you know, all the difficulties of coming to a to an agreement in America. Um, I just wrote down a few comments as Jay was talking. Uh, he made a comment that he he, he predicted uh, before the event uh, at the, uh, the, the TV program. He had to um, it had to be uh, organised before the event that uh, he predicted there would be no way an agreement would be reached at Copenhagen. The, the, the fundamentals uh, between countries were just not there. I, I noted all of the the complications of the domestic politics, which. Um, Jay so eloquently pointed out. Um, one of the things I noted was the coming and going of personalities uh, in the, on the political scene. Um, Senator Warner and, and uh, Lindsey Graham and a, a lot of sort of uh, a reliance on personalities, a reliance on individuals to, to show some leadership. Uh, I also thought about his comment on rivalry, rivalry between entities as a driver of, of change. And I think all of that is very pertinent to cities. Um, as you know, as you probably would know, uh, we're organising a gathering of cities, the C40 uh, Association of Large Cities Involved in Tackling Climate Change, uh, and that gathering's in November. And the theme is, is climate change, building a low carbon economy, especially in the building and transport sectors. And why, why are we interested in cities? Um, we're interested in cities because they, they are where implementation is at. So it's at the city level that all, all of the policies, national and international, uh, have to be implemented in a, in a fundamental way. Um, we're also interested in cities because, uh, Jay, like Jay, there, there were many people who predicted that Copenhagen wouldn't eventuate in a strong international agreement. And so what are the other, what are the other options? What are the other players that could, could do something positive in this field? And we think cities are, there's a good chance that cities are a strong player in that field. Um, Jay also talked about big government and the fear of big government in, in the US. And I've, I'd be interested to explore further whether cities are seen as big government or are cities little government. And whether just in terms of uh, appearances, in terms of politics, in terms of perceptions, whether people are more amenable or the general public are more amenable to city governments taking action than they are to, to the national governments taking action. Um, why can cities operate faster than national governments? They're just nimbler all round. They don't have as many complications to deal with. Uh, they don't have the international political scene to deal with. They have their own political scene and that's complicated enough. They also have great reserves of social and financial capital. So they're, they're centres of, of intellectual life, uh, of financial life, um, political, etc. All this, most of the C40 cities that we're bringing to, that we hope will come to our conference, are capital cities. They're centres of politics in their own areas. Cities not only can provide leadership, but must provide leadership because they, firstly, they are the future of living. The living in the future will be urban. Uh, most in the future, most people will live in cities, whereas for most of history, most people have lived rural lives. So most people are going to live in cities, and cities take the bigger part of, of carbon emissions. About three quarters of carbon emissions are said to be from, from cities. I don't want to play down a few uh, uh, real difficulties that, that still remain, even if we, we think of cities as a possible way forward. There were very good reasons for trying to come to an international agreement at Copenhagen. Uh, one of the important reasons was so that no one could cheat. So you didn't have companies uh, country hopping or country shopping for the laxest standards. There were good reasons to set uh, a, a strong standard across the world. But anyway, that, that wasn't
wasn't possible. And I also wouldn't play down a lot of the important things Jay said about you know, for, for every invention there's got to be a market. But it, even cities can't just magically make uh, make um, you know good policy on 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 climate change a reality without attending to some of the other things that Jay spoke about. I think uh, I think maybe I'll stop there and let, let Jim take over.